Go. This is Cole Rayner here, reporting live from Fox News. We're at the Smith household right now. And a suspect believed to found two bodies brutally, brutally murdered. Bloody pulls. Reporting live from Fox News, we seem to have the witness, George Weeks, with us. Let's hear his story. This is Fox 5. We have George here. Let's hear his story. So I was uh, walking by the Smith's house and uh, I heard the dog barking, which is unusual because uh, the dog usually locked up. I thought I saw the dog. There you have it, guys. Whoa, it looks like the window is broken. Let's see what this is. Oh my god, two dead bodies? Oh my god, what are we gonna do? <laughs> this fingerprint was lifted from the east room window after comparing the minutia we have found that 10 minutia have matched anton geisler his left index fingerprint this fingerprint was lifted from the hammer, the murder weapon, and we compared the Tim Lanusha to his left ring fingerprint. As you can see, and here are the minutia for the East Room window. Alexander and Rebecca Smith's blood were both found on the murder weapon. In addition, Anton Geisler's blood was found on the murder weapon. And we believe that his blood was because of the East Room window when he broke in to kill Alexander Smith and Rebecca. After fully evaluating and conducting and comparing the two fingerprints from all of the ones that we've found, between all of the victims and the suspects, we can say that we link Anton Geisler to the crime scene, that East Room window, because we found his hair follicles at the crime scene, and we can link them there at the time of the murders. Great. After comparing the shoe impressions, we have found that Anton Geisler's shoes were found outside the workshop and outside the East Room window, which he broke. So now we can confirm that he was there at the crime scene when connecting to the murders of Alexander and Rebecca Smith.